on Elliot. I'm still just in shock from that story and the whole the video that goes with it. Oh, but I know. Let's talk about brighter things like the forecast and your flowers. Nice to see you, John. <laughs> So, Andrea, these are fake. These are real. Uh, these were outside last night, so you can see they really took a heat from the temperatures. These I put in the garage so they have more water content in the petals, so they're doing better. These over here have been eaten by the deer because the deer are hungry as well. So, yeah, we have a full flower show for you this morning. Let's talk about that freeze warning. That freeze warning is in effect until 10 a.m. And again, warnings like this migrate through the area. It's just as cold north and west but yeah hopefully this is the last of it we're going to see better better numbers overnight tonight into your day tomorrow here's what it looks like in the city very pretty we've got a nice day underway as far as the sky conditions but yeah it is cold 32 feels a lot well feels a little colder with the wind wind chill in the city right now is about 27 yesterday we only hit 39 we're going to turn that around today and those nice numbers are going to stick around sunday into monday all next week as well we are going to see numbers bounce back today high pressures in control Control. Weak little disturbance brings in a chance of a just a real hit and miss and more miss than hit shower overnight into your day tomorrow. Then we see the numbers finally above normal, 62. It's even better for your Monday. And Monday, Monday should be nice and quiet. We'll see a shower chance back middle part of the week, but we should be dry Monday into Tuesday. Partly sunny with a milder touch for your Easter high of 62. How about that? And and counting the days, what about Mother's Day? Why not? Let's just look ahead. Mother's Day is only 36 days away. Dad's Day, 78. And the summer begins right there. That's the perfect gift for Father's Day. Next few days, remember, increasing clouds overnight tonight with a stray shower possible. I don't think it's going to be widespread. Monday pick of the week, but some nice days as far as the numbers go all week but we do wrap up thursday into friday with a chance of showers so tomorrow's easter but tomorrow's also world rat day a day designed to celebrate rats a lot of folks have rats as pets rats make wonderful pets because they're incredibly incredibly sweet they give kisses who doesn't love kisses yeah I just kissed a rat. And they're basically like a little puppy dog. So if you love dogs, you would love rats. Funny little rat is going to be very, very affectionate towards you with proper handling and proper care. How intelligent are rats? Rats are actually one of the most intelligent little pets you're going to find. Way more intelligent than your average pocket pet, say a guinea pig or a rabbit. These guys can learn a plethora of different words, phrases, commands, tricks, and other things like that. Rats can problem solve, and they can learn basketball. What? Yeah, I swear, they can learn basketball. Colleges do it all the time. They train rats how to play basketball. Yep. So it's a whole different kind of March Madness. Yes. <laughs> rats like to be together, don't they? Yes, very much. They love companions. We humans are not enough for them. They need other rat companionship for sure. How many rats have you rescued? I have rescued over 600. I want people to not think they're scary and dirty and gross, and I want them to see them for what they really are. These guys are wonderful pets, and they're often misunderstood. Are rats lovable? They are very lovable. So if you want to check out Mel's Misfit Creature Rescue, you can find her on Facebook and Instagram. And I got to tell you, speaking with Ryan at NJ Exotic Pets, their business has been booming through the pandemic, so they're going to have a big brand new store opening up later this spring. But I know rats might skeeve you out, but I kissed a rat and it was very sweet. So enjoy World Rat Day tomorrow. Andrea, are you, a, is your skin crawling? It is, and I'm thinking of all of the rats I see in the subways and they gross me out. But what I love about you, John, is I've learned so much about rats that I didn't know in just that two minutes of your piece. So thank you. Mission accomplished. Happy Rat Day to everybody. Thank you, John.